Anyway, it's okay, guys. Don't don't worry about it. Just for, just forget that he said anything about Persona 4. At least, at also, least, it will, Persona, at least it won't be on the YouTube vibe. Yeah, play Persona 4 Golden. Play, it's on play Steam. Play Persona 4 Golden, yeah. It's really good. All right, all right. Off the, off the start, JJ JJ does a, a clean 46% combo. Put Steve off stage. Um, Adachi, Adachi's already in trouble. <laughs> as soon as the match started, he almost died. Like, I think if uh, JJ got a downer off stage in that situation, uh, there's not... Can Steve make it back from that with no double jump especially? I don't I, think so. Why did that last so long? Like, why did I feel like that explosion lasted longer than usual? <laughs> than it needed to. Oh. Oh. Okay, he made it back. Or not. He got caught in the anvil. Luckily, he didn't have the diamond forward smash or else that might have actually killed Kirby. Yeah. Jeja is definitely. I feel like Jeja Jeja has a lot of bad things going for him, mainly Kirby. But him being the character specialist that he is with the character, he just does so many things right that all the bad things don't really take into account for him. Yeah, he's really good at playing around the weaknesses of Kirby most of the time. Like yeah. when I watch him play his character, it just looks like any other like normal character. It doesn't look like a low tier or whatever. Exactly. But he definitely did just die first. So, oh. Off of the blocks too? Ooh, that was nice. That down tilt is incredible, by the way. I think it's one of the only Ooh, down tilts in this game that's actually positive. Yeah. Good for Jeja to actually go for the stone cancel and then immediately get the down smash to bait out. And of course, the down smash is good to actually punish the spot dodge because of the active frames that it has. I like that Adachi's also using the mining off of the anvil to get different materials too. Yeah. Get more iron. Oh, oh that, that's almost a drag down. Doesn't that's not a tree yet. He was a little bit outside of the zone where it would have been like a semi spike drag down. Yeah, yeah. Still scary though for Adachi. That's why you saw him uh, be in such an awkward way. Oh, the TNT's there too to cover some options. Mm, oh. Okay, barely, wow, barely. I was scared for Jeja. Tech chase? Oh, go oh, to Adachi. To, yeah, slow get up there just to have extra. Uh, Animations of invincibility. That's gonna be an up throw. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It, dang. It still didn't kill Kirby though. Oh. 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 And as Damn. soon as the pickaxe broke, the that stock was broken bad. too. He was mining so much that his axe broke, and then he died. <laughs> All right, Jeja, slight lead here. Yeah. Good use of stone yet again. Jeja, excellent oh, with stone. Good. On the way back to the stage here, 168 to 189. Here, that's the stock with the back air. Yeah, excellent use of stone too, because look at how much JJ JJ can get passed through with stone, especially against Steve. Uh, and he's really, really like strong with that. Yeah, wow, and he's really good at canceling it. Yeah, Dachi, he he always has oh, the wall no. up. Oh, that move is so strong, but he's barely living. Okay. Uh, I don't think he has. No, he still has the diamond right now. Dang, this is kind of scary for JJ. He's running out of resources though, but. Yeah, it doesn't matter. He hit him so far away, he can mine again. Oh! A oh, lot of no. things are all yeah. over the stage. Yeah, it's so hard to get past all that. And that's Especially with Kirby's bad aerial mobility. Yeah, Kirby, Kirby's pretty slow in the air, but good on Adachi to understand, you know what, I can easily punish this return onto the stage with the gold-powered minecart. Of course, if you guys don't know, uh, Steve only gets that minecart specifically if he, if he does have gold iron mind and the mine car will be powered up to go faster some armor too yeah he got yeah has a little bit more armor it's definitely better than regular mine cart but still i think the one thing i have to give it to jeja too is that he was well aware of when i come back to stage i need to make sure i go towards center stage especially at higher percents and then try to get back stage control as well because that's super important against a character like steve where the knockback on a lot of his moves at higher percents will take a toll and will take a stock as well Good first game though yeah excellent first game from both players jj jj showing up a little bit of adaptation here and as well as adachi understanding how to play the matchup a little bit and understand steve's strengths as well oh careful with the tnt here a little it's now activated oh 
trying to avoid oh, the nice. spot dodge. Try yeah. to dodge. Pretty good trade. Oh, he can jump back in the car. That's funny. <laughs> I didn't know he could do that. <laughs> He's really using the up being a interesting way. But it seems like a very solid burst option. Look at that. Even though it crossed up and he was like on the ground, there's like very little lag. So mm. still act out of it, but there's that down air. So powerful. Yeah. Switch versus like Kirby. Kirby definitely one of the larger characters in the game. What a chase down oh. with dash attack, but that's not enough. Unsafe on the shield here, and that's going to be a solid punish from Adachi. Gets Goodbye. the spike hitbox from the final <laughs> cutter in Jeja. With a good break here, 33% of this man's name. Good enough to still keep going. Double down here? Yeah, that's a double oh. down here. Not the track down, Wait. though. Yeah, and he's... Mm. Oh, no. That was too much. Oh, no. So you know like when that. it's true when you hear an animation. Sorry. A sound cue when you got the full drag down properly from Kirby. And unfortunately, Jeja was not able to get that sound animation going. And that means it was not true for the full drag down. Fortunate to SD that early. Oh, that shield solo. Nice. What okay, a good way to back air. Gets a cross up into another smash. And another back air to put him off the stage here. Jeja on 57. Yeah. Dachi has some pretty bad DI there on that back air. There's that'll be again. Nope, doesn't get the grab, but off stage. That'll work, Double. that'll work, that'll work, that'll work. No, it you still can magnet from so far. Man, that was crazy recovery from Adachi. Most characters dead in that situation. Definitely. I was gonna say that's the crazy thing about Steve is Magnet Hand seems to be much more graceful than the other characters. Feels like DLC Magnet Hand, so to speak. Good pokes here with down tilt oh. too, because like you said, Strides, it's one of the safer down tilts in the game. And the two frame off the down smash? I was referring to Steve's down tilt, by the way. But yeah, Curry's down tilt is also really good. It has a very high trip rate and decent range. Yeah. Plus, he crouches under like everything. But uh, yeah, nice comeback from from Jeja. That looked really bad for him. Yeah, that looked really bad for him indeed, and he stayed composed all the way through. Can't believe he got he. He down aired him out of his double jump, got the second down air in like the blast zone pretty much, and then Steve still made it back. That was yeah. crazy. He had no jump, got spiked so far down. That was great. Okay, yeah. so where do we have the counter pick here from uh, Adachi this time? Could be going back to a smaller stage, maybe by uh, maybe. I was gonna say, yeah, we might be going to town and city. Good platform layout for uh, Adachi, I would say. If he chooses to like hang back, take more opportunity to, you know, just mine for resources, I would say it's really good. Oh, that was smart from Jaja too. He gets rid of the TNT, but is able to tank it through with stone activated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he took no damage. That's nice. Forward air? Yeah, this is good. Usually the bread and butter combo from Steve when he does get grabs. Go for down throw forward air. It has good enough knockback and it'll send you towards the stage. You can set up for edge guards. Oh, Jeja trying to confirm that all the way for a full stock here at 1 at, at 1 at 11. Yeah, I think for Jeja. So yeah, I think for Jeja, he has to be really careful against Adachi's anvil. There's a few times where he shields it, but it's a lot of shield damage. And if Adachi is keen on it, he will be able to recover. Oh, no. Yeah, not the best angle there for Adachi. Yeah. To be fair though, Jeja was in like perfect position to, you know, kill him there if he recovered straight to the ledge anyway. Oh, nice use of the down B, get the armor through the up smash and get the hit. Adachi kind of swinging for the fences here. He's desperately trying to get this stock, but yeah, Jeja's not really falling for anything right now. Yeah. Oh. Okay. He doesn't have a strong a sword, so he couldn't kill with that forward smash. Not from full screen anyway. Oh, almost got the poke. Excellent nice. stun to punish that. Oh. Yeah, and he's still able to recover. Oh. And what oh. a punish. That was so smart. He delayed his release from the stone just so he could get the punish on that. And he gets the forward air for his match. Jeja, oh, Jeja, with all the adaptation here against the Steve, calling out every single move and using stone to all of its benefits. Yep. I'm telling you, Strides, he looks at the character's weaknesses and he looks to answer those with every single move in the character's toolkit as much as possible. 
Yeah, very impressive display right now from Jeja. Potentially working on a two stock here. Adachi's like wildly swinging out these smash attacks just to try to get this stock out, but yeah, still yet to get the, the kill right now. Okay, gonna go high. Yeah, that's what I like about Jeja too. He does overcommit a lot of his recoveries, but Kirby does have multiple jumps, but the one thing that Jeja always looks for is to come back center stage and try to establish stage control. That's something that a lot of players that I definitely see struggle with is reaffirming themselves with stage control, especially when you're looking at continuous stock lead. I'm gonna hit this? <laughs> I was gonna say close. It hit the Very end, though. Safe. Up throw? No, it doesn't. I don't think it kills this earlier. Still a huge lead right now. Down tilt, nice. I like that. He waited for the reaction from Adachi. He's got him scared. Goes for the down throw. Not it just yet. That's it. Oh, that's two it. SDs. Yeah, I hate to see it. Honestly, that was a really hard comeback to make. <laughs> Even regardless of the SD there at the end. Yeah. Oh, let's. Oh, sorry, wrong scoreboard on that one here. Uh, let's not forget this is best of five. So JJ has such a huge. Lead and adaptation against Adachi. Adachi has one more game to play to figure these things out here. Strides. I think Adachi has has a lot going, lots, a lot to, a lot to play for, honestly, because Shecha has such a big lead, but also such a big download. Hmm. Yeah, Jeta's playing very intelligently around uh, Steve's options as well. He's just not really falling into the, the basic setups. And it just seems he doesn't really feel like forced to approach a lot of times. He's like perfectly fine with letting Adachi try to set up with the, the mining. Yeah. Find his opening that way. All right, here we'll game four. Potentially the loss of the set with Jeja on set point. A lot of adaptation here against Adachi, but I think there are some things that Adachi just needs to like slow his roll on and definitely start getting used to moves like Stone and the way that Jaja has fully understood and grasped Steve's toolkit. Yeah, I think if we can see Adachi, you know, avoid fighting from behind from so early, it'll be better for him. Because in yeah. that last game, like he was down so much that he just started like throwing out moves like pretty mindlessly. Exactly. Punched every time. But, uh, Already in the corner. Luckily, gets past that down smash. Yeah. I don't know what it is, around. man. As soon as the match starts, Jeja either, like... Yeah, he, he gets, gets, like, 50 plus percent and stage control. Like, he, like, spawns with that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, TNT at the ledge. That's good on Jeja to use stone to try to come back on the stage. Avoid the explosion and the knockback. Oh. Dang. He just dash hacked through everything. All right. Gonna get some time here. Still only has the stone. No diamond. He's running out of resources as well. Yeah, he's trying to set up some space, Oof. but yeah, <laughs> Jeja's just like, I, I don't care what you're trying to do, I'm gonna get in your face. Pretty yeah, good I trade there for Adachi, honestly. Yeah, and okay. Jeja stays on the aggressive side because he knows at this point, the best defense is a good offense, and always being offensive against Adachi is really strong at this moment. Back though, but there's not gonna be enough blocks on that setup there. That would have definitely have sent Jeja at a really rough angle. Oh my, what was that <laughs> interaction? <laughs> oh, nice left tilt. Jeja, again, securing the first stock. Let's see how much percent he can get here. Wow, that force mm. smash ended up working out perfectly for him. And nope, normally the up smash... Up yeah, and normally the up smash from Adachi would have been good because the fact that Jeja was on a block, that would have been an extension, but unfortunately that forward smash did low profile Kirby enough to avoid that. Yeah. The crouch and the pet kick mechanics of Kirby. Yeah, that's the... They pay off sometimes. Yeah, and, the uh, cross yeah, right there now, too. Adachi is almost... Gonna die here? Like, he needs to get some type of thing going for himself. Yeah. Up throw won't kill here yet. I like Still, it though. Not, not really enough yet with the platform. Oh. Down tilt to stop the recovery. Oof. Okay. Jeja still playing so safe. Oh, look, okay. he hit him out of it. He knew it was coming. But, but look at the situation that Adachi put himself in. He sacrificed so much stage control to let Jeja come back on the stage and then get this hit and then literally continue the three stock lead. Adachi was doing fine there. Had he had tried to hold stage better that way, he would have never lost the stock. That's the situation that we're seeing from Adachi. There's a lot of loss of stage control, giving Jeja a lot of respect. No anti airs, oh no up tilts. We haven't seen up tilts from Adachi. Oh, man. Yeah, and this is a lot of shield pressure as well from Jeja. Even losing that stock there, he still managed to trade. Okay, at the ledge now. 
Hidashi going for a lot of grabs. Most of the time, Kirby's avoiding it, but that's a pretty good combo there. Yeah. Nice. Catch him out of the air. He's trying to get enough time so he can get more resources, but he's definitely running really low here. Wow, that was interesting. Up smash? Yeah, right, that's a confirmed. Smash. Not enough, though. Yeah, oh. that's a full charge minecart there with Iron Ingot. Yeah, he got the diamond. Nice, he has to mine it oh. out here. He has enough time now that he's taking care of the stock here. Brute forces his way with the minecart. Yeah, and it goes so fast, oh. it has armor. Ooh, looking for the extension from the blocks there, but not enough. Dang, I think down tilt grab would have comboed. Oh man, he's going for some crazy stuff at the ledge. Yeah, I thought you looking for big plays here. Yeah. He's got, the, he's got the resources to do it a little bit. I, I know he still has the diamond, but he's running low on stone and other materials like that. Yeah. So he, need, he needs to put some space in between him and Jezza. Nice. It's a good way to start. Minecart to get a little bit of a break here. Oh. Nice with the iron block there. That's the, probably the highest value block that Steve can get out of blocks here. He's only got ground. Oh, oh nice. Good defense from Adachi. Just holding shield, blocking all that pressure at the ledge. Back air. Oh. Calls out the up smash right before the starting animation. Edge cancel on V. Nice. Oh, this is really scary. Oh, oh and that's a great coverage. Yeah. Oh. That was actually the, I think that was the very last diamond too. Like it broke after yeah. he hit that. Oh my God. He brought it all the way back. All the way back, literally from the depths. Good stuff on... Adachi just kind of looking it, that's one thing that he definitely did better this time is instead of like you said right there was a lot of times where out of desperation he was going for huge damaging moves to get rid of Kirby's stock as soon as possible this time out of desperation Adachi decided to just calm himself down look for combos with Steve and confirms and then get these combos into a higher percent knowing that Kirby is light and that eventually Diamond Pickaxe, Diamond Sword will do enough knockback to take care of Kirby, powered with the minecart with Gold Ingot. That's good for Adachi, just kind of stay calm and look back at all the combos that he's memorized with Steve. Kind of awkward too. Um, up so combos and like up air combos just seem really awkward on Kirby's weight. Yeah. So that, that's why I'm, I think we're not seeing it much from Adachi. But even in spite of that, he's still he's getting a lot of good damage when he does get it open. Alright, so game five, back on Pokemon Stadium 2. Can go either way here, honestly. Jeja usually starts off very strong, though. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's been up to Adachi to kind of like buy his way back. This time but around, though. Yeah, completely different this time. Great parry? Nice. Yeah, oh, I was gonna say Ed I, already. Yeah, he baited Jeja to approach with the block set up there. This is something that Adachi has been doing every single time against Jeja. He either shields it or he's able to get away, but he eats a lot of shield damage. This time, there's no shield. There's a stock there for Adachi. He's got a big lead now. Wow, the card to upbeat. Yeah, this is huge right now for Adachi. Jeja has to really do a lot to approach and bring this back. He's just running into a lot of hitboxes. Go back air. What a way to oh. look at that one. He was looking for the oh. overextension from Jeja. I can't believe Adachi tried to kill off it. <laughs> nice. Good Still for Adachi. Yeah, he's being very careful when he comes back towards center stage. Doesn't <laughs> want to overextend. What a nice glide to come back. Yeah, and he edge canceled it too. Oh, that's a spike. Yeah. Yeah. Completely unavoidable in that situation. Jeja has a lot to do though. He's not gonna die anytime soon. Forward air. This is big. Yeah, it's got him off the stage. Missed the second back air and the minecart <laughs> able to hit Kirby. Yep. The final cutter is not up to go through the stone block fortress that Steve has set up for himself right here. Yeah. This time Adachi oh, a little bit more cautious when he's at the ledge. I oh. no, yeah, no anvil. <laughs> wait, got the trip! Okay. Good situation for Jeja. Nope, he's not going to chase them there. Very smart. He knows that it doesn't have lag on the landing, so he's not going to overextend. But the up smash at his shield, scooping him up. Jedi caught overextending just a little bit too much there. Okay. Straight to the ledge. Oh, he can't go straight to the ledge. Oh, okay. Oh, barely. he can't go back. <laughs> the magnet's so good, but just kick him out of here. Nice forward smash. Adachi was matching that up tilt, trying to force the combo, but didn't happen. 
and now Jeja opportunity again. He's trying to get that second back of the snag a jump, but Dodgy's not really falling for it just yet. Oh, nice, nice shield pressure. Leads to a pretty good string for Jeja. Dodgy kind of rolling, running low on materials, but yeah, that's a really he... good setup with the blocks. So much for Oh, the oh, spike from the back air, not enough though. It. Oh man, and he DI'd into the stage in tech. Uh oh, the gonna... team get the ledge. We oh, blew I... up. up. <laughs> no, I, I still like it because he was looking to see how Jeja was going to react around the TNT, and that might be the stock. No, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Good DI. What the heck? You he went for that up B setup there? Oh, this is so scary. Yeah, that was Jeja's good. He... So safe. he crossed oh, wait, the wait, wait, wait. Oh, no. Oh, he got it. Oh, my God. He actually got that. Oh, man. That was crazy edge guard from Jeja. Finally Damn. capitalizing on that up B against Steve, and it's so susceptible to being hit because it has no hitbox and it's a slow glide. And I think Jeja finally understood, you know what? Oh, I have I have the scoreboard wrong yet again, sorry. Before I end the VOD here. Fix the scoreboard. Yeah, Jeja took